If you just got off the ship, we're here in the historic shopping plaza. We're walking in. If you look straight up, you can see the... Um, oh, the aqua mouse, or aqua duck. We're moving. I was say we're, I think we're heading to the bus right now to do our rum tour. There's so much beautiful but, artistry that I want to see. Yeah, there's definitely. I'm going to be excited that we're going to have time to come back and shop around a little bit. This is a really fun... This port. Is probably the most beautiful port I've ever been to. And it goes all the way down there, the shops. We are on the bus. Yeah. It's a 45 minute drive to the Hampton well. Rum Estate. Yeah, so we're going to get to do, enjoy the views of Jamaica. I retired out of Marathon Oil for a couple of years ago. Like I say, I'm, I retired oil field cash and I'm proud of it. We're stuck right here, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I've worked for a kid. Hamden Estate. Excited. <laughs> so that means I can see even closer to the core center. So the reason why we burn the sugar cane field is to clear the field. That even in 2024, people still harvest them the old fashioned way by hand. He was Hamden first own and nephew, John Sterling, but he died at That's age 25. As he died in the building coming up. That building coming up also on your left, that Hamden historic great house. I do not think you can find seven of those buildings anymore in Jamaica. That used to be the slave master house. But when the slaves were fighting for their freedom in 1831, they set those buildings on fire. Wow. They were heading to Hamden to burn that one, but you came to Hamden not to burn it, and thank God you got a few stone. The inside is exquisite. Six bedrooms, five and a half baths, AC units, AC, jacuzzis, Plus screen TVs, Wi-Fi, running water, electricity, you name it. It's a modernized great house. But there's a downside to the house. Do we have all fifty of you here? Two, four, six, four. No, I'm missing I'm missing a few of you. Alright, it's two something, right? Yeah. Two something. We are back on the fantasy from our Hampton. Rum estate tour. How did you like it, honey? It was so fun. It was so fun. I think it was the people were really nice. I liked the tour a lot. Good. Um, so we got off the ship and were directed to our bus. We then took a 45 minute, nine mile drive into Hampton because she said the parish that we're in in Jamaica is called Trelawney, right? Yeah. And so our port is um, Falmouth. Mm -hmm. And we drove from Falmouth to Hampton. So that journey was nine miles, 45 minutes. And once we got there, we got to, I didn't really film, I don't think I filmed hardly at all. Definitely a little bit of the drive up there and when we were driving into the estate. But the distillery itself, was pretty small, so I didn't really want to take out a camera and kind of put it in people's <laughs> faces. Um, but we were introduced to the process of it, how it is made, and then we were walked through. I guess the facility takes a two to three week break once a year to stop production and completely clean out everything. And we were at that time, so all of the machines were actually not producing rum at the time. But that worked in our favor because it's hot here. It's a tropical area, a tropical climate, just like Florida. And they don't have AC in the distillery. So not having them running made it more comfortable. But it was still very hot. We were all very sweaty. But it was super informative. And now we've been able to do, Mom was saying, um, we've done wine tasting. We've done a tequila tasting. We've done a rum tour and tasting. So we really hit like every possible alcohol. Um, so that was really cool. And then the actual historic market 
like shopping area right outside the port, like right in the port itself is so fun. They had a ton of different shops, both like local artisan market style and like freestanding shops. So we did a little bit of shopping on the way back. Um, it definitely started to rain, so we're like sweaty and rained on. So we need to change and like figure out what we're doing on the ship for the rest of the day. But I wanted to come up closer and show you the two things I got at Hamden Estate. Abel did get two bottles of fire rum, one for himself and one for Sean, who is watching our pets at home. He got a barbecue sauce and a hot sauce. So we have some like food items. Yeah, but um, Sean's going to need it because he's, <laughs> he's getting more than he bargained for. He's watching our dogs during Literally King. What's his name? Milton. Milton. So he's going to need some room. And it was just really scary because it happened so fast. We knew there was maybe something coming, like a, a, some kind of storm, but just not the category four or whatever that it's hitting us as. We didn't realize, so we really did no prep at all before we left. Anyway, um, so I'm going to scooch up a little bit so you guys can see. So from one of the little markets, I found this goofy. He's wearing a little Jamaica shirt. And his ears are kind of fuzzy, and he actually has dreadlocks with his little Bob Marley style beanie. Oh my god, he's so cute. So, love him. And then in one of the freestanding shops, they had a bunch of these purses all over. I really like this one. It has flowers and these round beads, but anyway, all of these beads are actually made of the coconut outer shell that I'm assuming they just kind of shape and dye and then thread it onto this bag. I don't know how well it's showing, um, but the back of the bag is hold, so it's strung onto the bag itself. But I love that I got a Mickey and Minnie shirt from Cozumel and then a little wrist, like a card holder and then a goofy plushie. And like I, my theme, I guess, is something Disney and something purse related. But this is such a good size and my I actually literally already put my Cozumel card holder in there Isn't that cute so Jamaica done and dusted I would love to come back and do something else it's a beautiful island it's an island right yes okay <laughs> it's a beautiful yeah, we're island Cuba, yeah, it's, yeah Jamaica's an island I think it's definitely. I didn't want to sound dumb. It's definitely the most beautiful port I've ever been to. It's really pretty, and the port is that you can tell that they've invested money in it, um, and you know, just I'm sure thousands of tourists that are coming in and out um, every day. But I really enjoyed it, and I'd love to come back. And I think we're already going to have to redo this itinerary anyway because our Cozumel excursion was canceled, and then obviously we weren't able to talk in um, Georgetown, Grand Cayman. So of our three stops, we've only, we were only able to do Foulmouth in its like original intended, like what we planned to do. Um, so we're gonna have to do this itinerary again, but we were hearing from our servers that this is the like last season, that fantasy is gonna be doing this itinerary because it's gonna be moving to Europe. And then who's going to take over this itinerary is going to be the treasure, right? Which is the new yes. ship. Mm -hmm. So that's if we, we want to do talk. this itinerary again, we're not going to be on the fantasy. We're going to be on the treasure. Love me. Which, I mean, it's the new ship, so that's really fun. All right, so I think we're going to change and go find something to do on the ship. Probably a little snacky. I wouldn't mind, like, a big, I need, like, a venti-sized tea. Getting a bit of a caffeine yeah, headache, I think. That. I don't know. I think like the machines out by the pool have the tea, right? Yeah, the to, tea make, to make, yeah. but not like. I need a Starbucks I'll just tea. Don't ask. I need a Starbucks tea. I really did not bad. see a Starbucks in Jamaica. Rude. That is one thing. Cosmel had a Starbucks. <laughs> it wasn't right, but they make good clothes. We're inside Mickey's main sale. I wanted to show you guys some of the things that they have. Um, starting with all the pirate stuff. Since we already had our pirate night, they have this fun pirate ship playset. You've got all kinds of characters, goofy Pluto, and accessories that come with. Oh, and Mickey, Minnie, Donald are on the side. I mean, that's pretty inclusive. 60, I don't think that's bad. We have a cool 
Disney Cruise Line logo hoodie. The back has all the um, like iconography for Pirates and the Cruise Line ship itself. I like especially that little DCL logo that's cool looking. This is probably 60 as well, yep. You know your prices. I'm good. Mom and I noticed that they usually have a lot on offer for kids, not so much for adults in way of costumes. So, for sure. So if you are wanting to dress up in pirate gear for pirate night, you have to make sure if you're an adult that you do bring your own costume. $39.99 for the, oop, trying to get to the hook for the red, we want the red head hat. And then we have the little dress as well for tinies. It looks like they have 2X small through extra large. So definitely quite a ra wide ranges of sizes available. This doesn't have a price. Um, little role play set. So I think that there's like, yeah, little compass, hook, map, gold coins, cute. eye patch. That's really cute. And a little treasure chest. Oh, there you go. Better shows you what's in there. And this is 34. That's so cute. You can open it. Ooh. A little ribbon came out. Sorry, ribbon. There we go. So fun. Okay, so I saw this through the glass looking into the shop, and I ran over here. I'm not a stitch girly though, <laughs> so I'm so sad. If this was not on there, this would definitely be a purchase from me. But if you're a stitch lover, this is gonna be perfect for you. It doesn't have a price on it, but I imagine it's 69 to 75. That's generally what the spirit jerseys are. This one's 40. Oh, those are cute, mama. Yeah, because we brought ours from the parks, but those are really cute. This place is off the hook. <laughs> That's really fun with the black ringer around the collar and the sleeves. That one's 34. We have this fun black, pink and silver sparkled print. And that one is not priced, but I imagine is the same. And then it's all fun and games until someone needs an eye patch. Let's see. And that one's 29. Oh, I don't think so. Those are really, I really like the feather. The Access Cruise Line. That's cute, Mama. We have a kid tee of Skull Rock. Hooked on cruising. That one doesn't have a price either. We have a play hook. That is $9.99. There's a lot of role play sets. Got this one as well. This is specifically Mickey Pirate. So everything on it is adorned with Pirate Mickey rather than Pirates of the Caribbean. And that's $19.99. We have a sword. I think this is a bubble wand. Yeah, because I definitely saw some of the kids on the deck during the pirate party playing with this. This is very cool. It's brown, whatever that means. We've got another stitch one. Cute. And then we have some smaller accessories like the pirate's medallion. That's $12.99. Yeah. Eye patch and earring set is $9.99. And then this is actually really sweet. It's a little jewelry set with Daisy, Minnie, and Mickey charms and it comes in a little drawstring bag that you can use when you're not wearing it to keep it safe. That's $24.99. Very cute. I love Mickey though. Oh, man. oh no, and look at Pluto. Cause he's the dog with the keys. Oh my gosh, that's cute. He's wearing a little pirate belt, kind of around his tummy. 24, and they're almost, not pastel, but they're kind of so muted. Cute. Um, it's, he's not his normal vibrant yellow. Yeah, same for Mickey. It's not black mask and ears. It's kind of a, almost like a mauve brown. But he's got an eye patch, his little pirate outfit. Oh my god, he's really cute. Look at his little sword. He's precious. The plusher $34.99. 
And then of course we have Stitch. Stitch is big, man. Didn't realize he was so big. We have a battleship game. Same um, role play set and pirate ship play set that I showed you earlier. They do have the costume for, I think that's Captain Jack's outfit. No, maybe it's Pirate Mickey's outfit. But anyway, they have this one for Littles as well, $54.99. Again, looks like extra small through. I can't quite see, but they've got quite a few sizes available. And these guys are always so fun. These are the ones that you pull back and they go. <laughs> Maybe not pull back so far, there you go. So fun. That's really cute. And that is $12.99. We saw the hats, we saw the ears, we've got a Stitch Lounge Fly. I imagine that that's probably $75 since it's not sequined. $89? Who would? That's normally like specialty sequin pricing. Maybe because it's Cruise Line? That seems really high though. Mm. Um, but that's all for this little pirate corner in Mickey's mainsail. Like I said um, earlier, I had shown those in my previous cruise. I'm just trying to show you guys new stuff, so or stuff I don't think I've shown. Oh, look at the towel animals I showed those last time. tomato and whatever leaf this is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watercress. Um, so good. Yeah, I got distracted because we were drawing when we came in, so I didn't show that. <laughs> good. And we've got good view, two screens, one on either side of Abel, so we're looking good. That's a lot. You know how I feel about that kind of presentation of a salad. Balsamic and red. It looks really good. Uh -huh. And that looks like cucumber, feta, yeah. tomato, which mom will pick out. It's so funny. It's just under this light. It's so brilliant. Yeah, everything in it here looks, is blue. It looks beautiful, but no. I won't eat it. Green beans and potatoes. And this light potato? doesn't make it look so pretty, but I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah, because the potatoes look a little scallopy, but I know yeah. the potatoes. Yeah. Tofu. Got the salmon. salmon for like the fifth time. Five in a row. Oh look, Castle's on the TV. They've been showing just Disney films that have anything to do with food. So because he has the chocolate bar in his hand with Kevin, they're showing this. But it's just little snippets of stuff. It's fun. Good salmon, babies. He also ordered mac and cheese. We're waiting for that. Why is it so square? I love it. What's in there? Some sauce. Or no, raspberry sauce. It's dark in the photo. Delicious. I got a peach tart. Mama got a shandy. It's a uh, very cherry chocolate sundae. And they still have the Mickey medallions on them. Which I have to eat, by the way, because that's my favorite. Pumpkin! Mickey! Pumpkin! So cute.
as Patrick. And that's Peppa Pig on the left, for sure. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, Back in here for intuition. The magician will be in here right after that. And then the uh, karaoke is in here after that. So it's going to be boom, boom, boom of activities down tonight. Morning. It is Castaway Key Day. It's 9 o'clock. We can disembark at 10. But we're going to try to just hold back a little bit after that, like 10, 15-ish, to make sure we get breakfast and allow everybody to get off the ship because I feel like everybody is a little... Uh, not stir crazy, but what's it called when you're like, we're ready. yeah, we're just, ready to get off and go play. yeah. Um, but I wanted to recap yesterday, which was our day at sea. 
Um, so if we started our day at the gym, Abel and I, and then we got a smoothie at the gym bar, we got one of the ones that we tried at our Kickstart Your Day class. So today, as you can see, I'm getting ready again <laughs> to go to the gym. I might try a different one, but that one was really good. Um, we got to Cabanas for breakfast, probably about 30 minutes before they closed, and it was Mickey Churro Waffle Day. I opted to not, to not get any because that smoothie actually filled me up. Um, but Abel got one, hon, and you liked it. It just was really sweet. Yeah, so they're really sweet. So it's like a tour, right? But extra sweet. Yeah. So we did that. I honestly did not film very much. I'm sure this is probably a really short vlog and even might be attached to our um, day to day for Castaway because we spent so much time at the pool. It was so nice. We came back to our room, got into our swimmies, went out on deck. I found um, a little bench right along the railing. So mom was getting a nice breeze. I did the hot tub for all of five minutes. Nobody was lasting longer than that because it was really warm outside and then the hot tub was warm, of course. But then I hopped over to the adult pool with Abel. We had some drinks. Then we went back and had some lunch in our spot. Um, I was able to read my book. It was a really good pool day. And really, then we came back to the room and these guys took a nap and then we went to dinner. Like our whole afternoon was just spent by the pool and taking a nap, which is the best way to do your at sea day when you're an adult. Um, we had dinner at Animator's Palette, which was phenomenal. And then we hit those evening activities hard yesterday. We just back to back them. So we did the 2000s music trivia at the tube and we got our most, not our most, our highest score. So the 80s one, I think I got a 19 or something like that just because we have to name the song and the artist and the artists always kill me. Then the 90s one, we did a little better. I think we got 29 or something. And then yesterday, the 2000s, I got 38 out of 40. And again, it's just the artist for two songs I didn't know, but Abel actually won us a medal because when he came back from the bathroom, um, they were revealing the song for Single Ladies by Beyonce. And Yo-Yo, our game show host, dragged Abel up on stage to do the Single Ladies dance and gave him a medal. So you thank, have, so you, thank that, you, Annie. You have that clip, maybe you can insert it here. Oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> um, then we walked over to, because that was at the Tube, D-Lounge, we drew Olaf. I'm gonna show you guys our art wall. I think I showed you in a previous one. I had clip magnets that I stuck on the wall and hung up our vampire Mickey, but I ended up moving them because we also got our drawings for Animator's Palette. So I'll show you that in just a second. And then did the Frozen trivia. We did not win. Then we went back to Intuition, sorry. Went back to the tube where we watched the Intuition game show the second Magic of Eric Jones show and did crazy karaoke to cap the night. I actually was called on stage for the Magic of Eric Jones show and he made me solve a Rubik's Cube, you guys. He's a real magician. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> My mom filmed it um, on her phone. I'm blown away. He literally handed me a Rubik's Cube that was completely mixed up and I put it behind my back and just twist it and when I revealed it, it was solved. I, I don't know. He's magic, passed the magic to me. I solved a Rubik's Cube, I can now say. <sighs> Wild. But it was a really good day. Nice and relaxing, really fun stuff at the end of the day. I'm very excited for Castaway today and of course I'll take you guys along and recap at the end. Um, but today's our last full day. We go home tomorrow. So it's been a great cruise. Definitely some highs and lows with this hurricane, but overall very, um, there have been some very relaxing points for me. It's been wonderful to be on a new ship. The places that we've been able to dock at have been so much fun to explore. So I've still had a great time and mom and I were literally just talking this morning that we want to do the cruise again. Um, it'll be on the treasure, not on the fantasy though. So we'll be on a new ship and get to experience the itinerary again, hopefully, and get to do all kinds of um, stuff that we might've missed. Although I need to figure out how to get back on the fantasy. I love this room. But this one's going to Europe, right? Mm -hmm. So, so we, can do that. we can go to Europe. Um, but if you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to be attached to Castaway or not, but I'll see you later. Bye.